So guys, it looks like Arsenal Fan TV's owner Robbie and the man who interviewed him so many times has broken his silence on a DT situation. Um, just before we get into the transfers, just got to touch a bit on, you guys would have seen the news yesterday um, about DT, who used to be, of course, a regular contributor on AFTV, um, and you would have read about his conviction. And I've got to say that once we got the full details of what had happened, you know, we took action straight away to say that we could never ever have him on the channel again. Um, one thing about me, I've always been passionate on this channel about as well as giving a voice to fans, giving a voice to um, female fans as well. And as a person who's got, you know, daughters, you know, this was, it was really, really disappointing and disgusting to read. So had to take action on it. Like I said before, I actually think Arsenal Fan TV have handled the situation well. They haven't defended them at all and they spoke out about it straight away with a statement. But guys, I actually found a tweet from DT's dad, which was a week ago, saying, Robbie, I have tried to call you a couple times. You know Liam was sentenced last week. I want you to help start a fundraiser to pay for the appeal. Please call me back. So obviously DT's family are still backing him and they just believe he's innocent in the situation and want to appeal it and he had tweeted Robbie a while ago but obviously he hadn't seen it and probably didn't get back to him because of that. But the strangest thing is, going through the father's Twitter, he actually tweeted saying a Lee Gunner's obsession with his ex did not stop with the restraining order, he continued to harass and stalk her. As a result, some handy people told Lee to leave Milton Keynes and never return and he fled before moving to Spain. Lee Gunner exposed, talking about someone else. I think he's a fellow YouTuber that makes content about Arsenal as well that they had problems with. But other than that guys, DT's channel has been dropping a thousand subscribers every other day since this news come out. He still has more subscribers than me, he has over 200,000, he actually had a good sized platform and a lot of potential to even build it maybe to a million one day with connections to the Arsenal Fan TV channel, but now he's sitting in a cell in prison for years. But guys, if you've watched all my previous videos on this situation, the son come out and said he's going to break his silence soon and address everything about this, most likely from his dad's side mainly. So if you're still interested in hearing what DT's got to say, it's probably going to come through his son if he speaks to him from inside or whatever. So stay tuned for that. I will post it on this channel. It's only right you hear his side of the story too. But anyway, guys, comment below what you think on this situation. I'm going to respond to a few comments as this drops. It's interesting to see what you guys think what a big downfall out of nowhere for dt a guy that was getting millions of views on youtube also guys make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay updated on all the latest news and stories i'll see you guys on my next one peace out